Today is Friday, May 19th. I'm Dylan Arms. And I'm Jordan Bokanowski. And, and you're, you're watching, watching CTV. CTV. finally chosen their graduation gift and is trying to end the year strong. Here's Jacob with more on the story. As the year is coming to a close, the Senior Executive Committee is making its last fundraiser. Senior Exec is making a good effort to finish strong this year. They're doing two spirit nights coming up at Independent Burger this Wednesday and next Wednesday. So you can go on uh, May 17th or 24th and you can get a burger for $10 with uh, fries and a drink, and uh, half of that goes back to senior exec uh, so that we can raise some more money. We have these little cards that you can show the picture or we can get a, you can get a card from any um, senior exec member and go to Independent Burger on the 17th or the 24th and get your meal and support senior exec. Uh, the other thing that we have is the senior faculty uh, basketball game, and that's going to be held on May 22nd during 8th period. The senior class hopes to raise money for their class gift and for project graduation. First of all, we raise money for project graduation, which is a large party that we have at the end of the year for all the seniors. And the admission is free for seniors, and there's like games, prizes, um, there's a DJ. It's just a really fun party that lasts all night. Uh, the other thing we raise money for is the class gift. And so uh, we have like around $12,000, $14,000 to donate to the school. And so uh, we decided that we're either going to donate uh, either a marquee, either a student lounge, uh, a T-Bird statue, or uh, some water fountains to replace in the new school. Senior class every year, they make a big donation towards the project graduation, the big party. They're a, a major funder of that party, and then whatever they have left over, they figure out a class gift. Senior exec hopes to leave on a good note and leave a great legacy behind, and so far they're doing a great job. This has been Jacob Zenner reporting for CTV. Back to you. The freshmen are working on a project that collaborates with all of their core classes. Here's Louisa with more on the story. The freshman class are doing several projects in the different fields of education. Some teachers and other professionals got together in order to make these projects possible. The purpose of this project is the freshman algebra class. They are getting familiar with Kastner Range and how it's in progress of becoming a national monument. The overall arching question is how will making Kastner Range a national monument impact El Paso or in our community? So what we've done is we've broken it down into four or five different sections um, regarding what could be what the land could be used for. The biology department is going to be going out there and looking at the different type of plants um, that they find in the in the area, and the English department is going to be working on like a persuasive essays. Um, we're teaching them basic map skills, uh, cardinal direction, how to pull plot points on a grid, um, just to basically familiarize them with using a map. So we're going to have field trips out to the Franklin State National Park and looking at the different museums and stuff and then throughout this time the kids will be working uh, in their groups to create presentations within their respective classes and departments. So the students are going to be looking into um, what goes into the cleanup of the land or if it were to become a park, where and how could we create trails for, uh, you know, biking or hiking or just being using the land in general. You can come and support your Coronado freshman class on the 25th of May throughout the day at the speech auditorium and on the 1st of June at the cafeteria after school. This has been Luisa Gonzalez for CTV. Back to you. Don't forget to buy independent burger tickets to help senior exec with Project Grad. After this commercial break, we'll have Aiden with sports. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Sunshine, she's here, you can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space. With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way.
head. I see it. Logan, you can't be on your phone and driving. That's illegal. I'm fine. Logan, slow down. There's a speed bump. Oops. <laughs> That's a horrible parking job. Want to learn from the best? Go to Sun City Driving School located on North Mesa in Colony Cove 2. This is Aiden with sports. The softball team is headed to the Sweet 16. Here's Marcos with more on the story. The Coronado softball team has been doing extremely well in the Texas State playoffs this year. Um, we've really been working hard at practice, working on bunts offensively and defensively, um, working on our speed, making sure we get the ball on the ground, not in the air. All of the girls working out hard, and then our coach motivating us more to go farther, and she's teaching us the right ways on being humble. As they advance deeper in the playoffs, a lot more preparation goes into it than most think. Definitely team chemistry, pitching is a lot of it. We're hitting the ball better. We're just doing things a lot better this year than we did last year. It's going to be hard to make it through next year, but we have a few um, sophomores and juniors that will be able to help the team out and I think get us almost as far as we've gotten this year. After going 14-0, the girls advanced three rounds of the playoffs. I think we can go pretty deep. Um, if we can get past this team, anything is possible. So I think we have a good chance to beat this team. We should be, we should be all right. To be leadoff um, has helped the team a lot and holding a stolen bases record has also contributed uh, greatly in these playoff teams. Regardless of win or loss, some girls have their eyes set on next season already. Played with club ball, so I'm pretty used to playing teams um, at this stamina right now. Uh, everything's pretty normal to me. And juniors and uh, sophomore and freshmen are going to have to step it up next year and make sure we have everything under control. C congratulations to the softball team for their success. And this has been Marcos Castro with CTV. Back to you. In other sports news, congratulations to Janelle Jirachi for making it to the top four in state. Also, don't forget to buy tickets to the senior versus faculty basketball game, which is on Monday. That's all for sports, back to you. Last week, students at Coronado hosted our annual Meet the T-Birds. Here's Ethan with more on the story. On Monday, May 8th, incoming freshmen met for Meet the T-Birds. It was great. I got to see all the clubs and meet all my fellow classmates. Yeah, it was exciting. It was exciting to get to see everything and see how the school works. Incoming freshmen got to see what Coronado had to offer in terms of clubs and sports teams. I got to join the exec committee and talk to everyone, so it was pretty fun. It's helped me like uh, find out what things I want to join and um, really like get to know Coronado. The Meet the T-Birds experience is very memorable throughout high school as it marks the beginning of your high school career. Seeing these other kids going through this experience um, is awesome because they're also getting involved and they're also becoming as knowledgeable as I was um, with all the different clubs that happen at Coronado, all the different sports, um, so they can have a memorable high school experience as well. Going into the summer, this gives the incoming freshmen peace of mind to realize that they are coming to a great school. So my Meet the Tebers experience was a lot of fun. Um, I got to be involved with a lot of different clubs due to coming to Meet the Tebers. Um, I got involved with Exec and Student Council and I became aware of a lot of other clubs that are at Coronado. My brother goes here and I'm really excited to get the experience. So being a senior next year, we'll be the leaders of the school and we'll be showing all the underclassmen how things go and how things work. So that starts today because as an exec member, we're signing up um, freshmen for uh, freshman exec. So I'm really excited to see all the freshmen sign up. Meet the T-Birds is a great tradition that we hope to continue for many years to come. Meet the T-Birds has been a great experience and I'm really glad I came. This is Ethan Katz reporting for CTV. Back to you. We love Meet the T-Birds! From all of us here at CCV, thanks so much for watching and, and have, have a great, great weekend. weekend.